Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone Welcome back to my channel uh, Thanks for subscribe and like on the my video Okay, so this is ASM654 Data Warehouse um, For today's video, I will cover on chapter 2 um, But before that, okay mm, Just 33 out of 48 MRU scan So after this, I plan to have like I just share this uh, QR code around 50 minutes then I delete that QR code after that 50 minutes so if you not scan meaning that you are MIA in my class okay so make sure that okay sometimes your percentage of your attendance is not uh, always like correct 100% I know that you all attend scan every classes but Sometimes lah, the cost of the data um, delay, data base update delay. Maybe some of you will facing this kind, maybe ninety five percent, ninety seven percent, uh, on of this overall attendance. So no need to worry as long it not be less than eighty percent. Okay. All right. So go to chapter two. All right. Okay. This is simple uh, chapter because we have only. Um, two things that we have to cover the data warehouse projects and the project team okay this is uh, chapter 2 on about planning and project management so it kind of similar like a project management subject ASM last time what? ASM 552 eh? so but now I think you have another codes or another names on the project management Okay, I fail my exam in some subject. Okay, this just from the quote from the Bill Gates. I'm not sure if Bill Gates uh, said this thing because I think this is internet hype, this thing. As you know, Bill Gates, dia punya, dia drop out on the Harvard so kan? Dia bukan drop out, yes, UST. Harvard is top 3 oh, in the world. So, Kalau you all daripada universiti yang biasa-biasa je kan Especially kita lah So Jangan nak Jangan nak <laughs> Follow this kind tu lah You nak follow Bill Gates You nak follow apa Mark Zuckerberg Draw up from the college Tak nak habiskan study As, And for your information If I'm not mistaken Bill Gates punya bapak tu Dia punya family family lah So mak dia dengan ayah dia Ayah dia tu kata silap is attorney Okay Attorney ni macam Peguam lah macam tu Hakim Then Dia ni memang pernah jadi uh, Somebody lah In this Dia punya uh, Province tempat dia And mak dia pula Pernah jadi director of Art museum something Macam tu So dia punya family Bukan biasa-biasa Okay Bukan biasa-biasa So Ini kita yang Yes Macam mak ayah I Dulu is a uh, mak, mak tak kerja uh, Ayah just kerja kampung Kan So you cannot follow this kind of um, mentality ni kan Ah, uh, bukan, bukan this one This one okay lah But, eh this one okay ke ni Yes, if you fail some exam Don't give up Try to pass on the next exam Okay, and make sure you complete your study Kenapa nak bagi code ni kat sini kan So, ni slide yang I pertikaikan lah <laughs> Okay, you don't have to be great to start But you have to start to be great Hmm, okay Awal-awal chapter ni dah cerita pasal uh, Bagi motivation kat sini ni hmm, okay. Sebenarnya uh, I can share with you It's up to your uh, Niat lah sebenarnya Dalam hati tu what do you want to do actually So as a member Semua ni duniawi je semua ni But still <laughs> We have to do uh, our parts Our uh, responsibility as a student Okay your Promising uh, your promise to your father, mothers, okay, and then if you have uh, pinjam PTPTN, kan, so make sure that you can pay back again, uh, pay back later. Okay, but okay, ada lagi kot more than fifty percent of data warehouse project are considered failure because several factors. Okay, um, more than any other factor, improper planning and inadequate project management tends to result in failures. So. Most the factor is improper planning. Okay, you planning to fail if you not uh, have a, any planning in your part. Alright. Even you want to study, you not score A, not pass the subject. You have to have a plan, Spanier. Okay, how you want to get pass on ASM six five four? So you do the study group, ke you do the 
Past year punya exam questions ke Okay so Kena ada plan tu lah And that you have to Give your commitment On your planning tu Okay but most of the people I can say that they Fail to uh, Follow dia punya schedule Kan just Macam ikut ikut Kejap ikut sekejap tak ikut So Besok nak exam Last minute Baru-baru nak tergi buka semua So That's why your uh, Results tu Is not What did you expect lah tu lah Ataupun you can expect that actually The outcome of your uh, Action tu Okay Okay um, This is about the uh, Course uh, Bukan the subject uh, Outline Review the essential planning for data warehouse Distinguish between data warehouse project and OLTP OLTP is online uh, transaction processing system And learn how to adapt the life cycle approach for data Introduce, introduce agile development methodology for uh, data warehouse project And discuss project team organization And consider the warning sign and success factor Okay, simple eh So the first one is about the data warehouse project Key issue related to the proper planning for our data warehouse is value and expedition and risk assessment. So we have to assess what kind of the benefits uh, we can have later on once we go for that project. And the risk assessment about what is the challenges or something that can delay ataupun uh, fail our project on in the future. Okay, you have to be ready. Okay, key issue another one is. Uh, top down and bottom up first plan and define the requirement at the overall corporate level okay actually because once we do a project all these uh, members in the organization will be involved so let the pros and cons of this mat- on, on this of this method finally wait this option and document them before adopting to the organization actually everyone must be happy lah once once uh, a new system a new things uh, has been uh, apa ni Deploy in that organization so that the changes can be uh, implemented successfully. Okay, and build or buy. No one builds a data warehouse totally from scratch by in-house programming. And then question that need to be answered: identify how much data much should be built, and how much this may be composed of ready-made solution, and what type of mix and match must be done. On here, I have to be yes proper small from the small things you combine. To biggest, uh, to biggest part, then we can see on the bigger picture. Another one, we have to uh, look at the single vendor or best of breed. Uh, best of breed is to use a product of single vendor or to use product from more than one vendor, selecting appropriate tools. Okay, meaning that we can have a uh, several options uh, in our uh, parts in that organization. What kind of uh, method? What kind of technology that one you that w- you want to use, and the business requirement not a technology. Uh, it's not about technology. It's about solving user needs for strategic information. Not like uh, all the system, all these uh, online things that you made. Okay, will solve the problem actually, because not everything that you made as a digital can dulu pakai manual, but then you transform to digital will um, enhance ataupun uh, give a better uh, performance to your organization it depends on the people itself because people itself have to be ready to commit ataupun to adapt on that technology okay or on adapt on that transaction tu lah okay and then key issue related to the proper planning is another one wait banyak ya so we have here sorry 1, 2 4, 6 8 okay sampai 8 je top management support Uh, it's about the data warehouse project without the full support of the top management and without a strong and enthusiastic uh, executive sponsor is doomed to failure from day one. So we have to get this uh, top level um, management in the organization to uh, fully support lah, and then they're willing to spend on this uh, project that we propose to them. And the last one, benefit and justification, real benefit from the data warehouse. Project occur only after the data warehouse is built and put to use fully. Some of these benefits are able to run what is analysis by moving into several hypothetical scenarios and make strategic decisions. Okay, you have to run, think of, not like, 
on the day one you implement that uh, data warehouse or that technology or on that system will give uh, something uh, already some changes ke you have to wait maybe that kind of thing to be work on lagi another one month ke one year to see that the outcome or benefit of the system or data warehouse that have been built okay all right advantages of choosing a single vendor as solution Okay, here is high level of integration among the tools because just single suggests ni constant look and feel, seamless cooperation among component, centrally manage uh, information exchange and overall price negotiable. Okay, best of breed solution maksudnya kita combine uh, from multiple vendors could build an environment to fit your organization because maybe uh, from this uh, between this department they have the uh, different kind of uh, method or different kind of uh, environments in the organization so no need to compromise between database and support tool and select product based suit for the function i can say most of these um kita punya banyak so on the single lah in the case of our company jangan campur lah and then ada juga yang best of breed ni okay yang ambil yang paling okay Sebenarnya-sebenarnya uh, I can say that In Malaysia I think mostly Dia akan pilih yang paling murah And paling Boleh diterima lah As long the job can be done <laughs> And sample approaches For preparing the justification Is calculate the current technology cost To produce the application And report supporting Strategic decision making So you have to compare With the estimate cost uh, For the data warehouse And find the ratio Between the current cost And the proposed cost See if this ratio is acceptable to senior management And the next one you have to calculate on this uh, business value of the proposed data With the estimate dollar values for profit, dividend, earning growth, earning growth, uh, revenue growth and market share growth And review the bis business value expressed in dollar against the data warehouse cost and come up with the justification So you have to compare uh, what kind of uh, investment you have made and the existing uh, application ke system that you have uh, already on the organization and do the full fledged exercise identify all the components that will be affected by the proposed data warehouse those that will affect the data warehouse start with the cost item one by one including hardware purchase of lifts vendor software in-house software installation and conversion ongoing support and maintenance cost you have to uh, pick Every each of this part uh, Kind of this uh, Item cost in your uh, System auto data uh, Existing in that company And then put a dollar value On each the tangible and intangible benefit Including cost reduction And revenue enhancement And effectiveness in the business community And go further to do a cash flow analysis So this one mostly Will be done by these uh, Finance uh, accounts Okay uh, even we as a data database manager, manager will also have to know lah what kind of value, what kind of this estimated uh, uh, growth that we will get on later on. And on the data warehouse overall plan, a well thought out of formal is a formal plan that sets the direction, tone, and goal of the data warehouse initiative. So it can be that just introduction, purpose, assessment, goals and objective, stakeholders. It kind of because somewhere the first part somewhere yeah, uh, macam project management. Yang berbeza is <coughs> on the technical terms ah uh, dalam uh, what are issues, what are these uh, success factor and what the team uh, responsibility lah on that uh, pro data, warehouse, data warehouse project okay this one data warehouse versus uh, online processing OLPTP eh kejap eh okay this one memang PTP I pun baru first time online transaction production uh, sama juga OL PTP PTP OL Okay, as you can see, it's called kasi by the OLTP ya. Maybe they just ter tekan ni kot OLPT ni. Oh, sebenarnya OLPT je. P ni is typo ni. Ya ke? Okay. Yes, typo ni. Sorry ya. Eh. 
Hmm. Okay, what? Or LTP is well, the transaction on everyday basis of your business process, and then the data will be transferred to the data warehouse. We got the OLAP. What is OLAP? Remember? Um, OLAP is a online analytical processing. Meaning, from the data uh, warehouse, we have this uh, online analysis. Uh, analytical processing. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, data warehouse project. How it's different? Data warehouse project differs from uh, project depends on OLTP. Okay. Uh, data acquisition component, data storage component, and information delivery. Um. Okay. The next one. How it is different? Okay. On the acquisition, on the storage, and information delivery. So it depends on the what kind of business uh, statement that we have actually in our organization. Maybe on manufacturing, maybe hotel services, maybe on this uh, retails have a different kind of data. Okay. Okay. Assessment readiness. Who is involved? Uh, of course, the project manager, the executive sponsor, users, and production team members. Yeah. Example are uh, this kind of uh, sample of. Uh, proposal lah kat sini Proposal ke? On this It's uh, Proposed project plan Okay Objective dia Access familiarity With data warehouse And what kind of The assessment document They have need Is the Lower the risk of Big surprise occurring During the project implementation Provide a proactive approach Reassess corporate commitment Okay These all the things That they have to Look on uh, later on, and of course, the last one is the about training. Okay, building a data warehouse. Okay, this is the most important part. You just need to remember these six phases. Okay, from the project plan, requirement, and definitions, uh, design, construction, deployment, growth, and maintenance. So here is the every details of this uh, project phase. Okay. Okay, I think you read on this one. Okay, uh, we go to this Agile development, Agile methodology. Uh, this one we know uh, about Agile is about the uh, encourage collaboration among the project team members and users, promote interactive and incremental development efforts. We look on the core value, core principle, core practice, and variables. Okay, how based on the first part of this chapter 2? So I think I need to stop uh, on this one. Because I think if I go straight to the project team members ni akan jadi too much information for you, okay? But before that, I need you to answer on this question 1 and question 2. Okay, because question 3 and 4 ni is another uh, second part of this topic. Thanks for watching. See you on another video. Goodbye.